Hey, Dallas Cowboys fan, in this video follow the dynamism of the Dallas Cowboys up close, dissecting Dak Prescott's leadership and C.D. Lamb's unwavering support. You'll see the doubts surrounding Prescott's playoff prowess and Lamb's resolute defense. As we delve into the Cowboys' recent successes and the resilient spirit of head coach Mike McCarthy, expect a narrative twist with an unforeseen health challenge. Also, explore the intriguing prospect of the 21-year-old QB joining the Cowboys with a possible promising future. Stay tuned until the end to find out all about the day-to-day -day running of the Dallas Cowboys. Under Dak Prescott's leadership, the Dallas Cowboys have secured a considerable number of victories, surpassing their losses. However, a notable absence of success in playoff games has led to doubts regarding Prescott's capabilities, leaving uncertainty about what it truly takes to succeed. Disagreeing with this skepticism is Dallas wide receiver C.D. Lamb, who vocally supported Prescott on Thursday, describing the pair as winners. According to comments from Lamb, reported by The Athletic's John Machota, Lamb commended Prescott's dedication to personal improvement and uplifting his teammates. Lamb expressed, we're prepared to make any adjustments, whether it involves refining our techniques or whatever is necessary to ensure Prescott feels comfortable in the pocket when connecting with me, and for me to feel at ease in my route when engaging with him. Aligning our understanding, staying true to one another, and adhering to the place parameters, it's challenging to envision Prescott and Lamb being more in sync with each other's tendencies. Lamb secured the second position among all receivers in yards and the third in receptions. The Cowboys' top pick from the 2021 first-round draft consistently recorded over 100 yards in 6 out of 12 games this season. Mutual admiration was evident as Prescott lauded Lamb for his commendable approach and work ethic. The Dallas quarterback expressed, Lamb is just reaping the rewards for all the hard work he has invested in this endeavor. Our trust, the way he tackles and approaches the game, we both embody conquerors. He's a true playmaker, always eager to make plays. I'll always appreciate having a teammate who strives to make more plays than the opposite. The impressive statistics jointly achieved by Prescott and Lamb for the Cowboys this season substantiate the authenticity of their statements. Dallas Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy undergoes emergency surgery. This week posed health hurdles for Mike McCarthy, the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. After being diagnosed with acute appendicitis, McCarthy had surgery, as confirmed by the Cowboys on Wednesday. Admitted to the hospital on Wednesday morning due to abdominal pain, McCarthy's surgery was reportedly a success. There is a positive outlook, anticipating his presence on the sidelines as the Cowboys take on the Philadelphia Eagles this upcoming Sunday. Can you honestly believe that resilient Irishman would skip this game? Inquired defensive coordinator Dan Quinn on Wednesday, as reported by ESPN. We are confidently expecting Mike to return for the game. We'll manage practices in his absence. Knowing him, he'll likely be online tonight, eager to review red zone, third down, and every other aspect. We anticipate him to be fully engaged come game day. During McCarthy's recovery, Quinn and fellow coordinators Brian Schottenheimer and John Fassel will oversee practice. This coincides with the Cowboys' impressive performance, securing victories in five of their last six games. With a current record of 9 to 3, the team is just one game behind the Eagles in the race for the NFC East lead. The absence of McCarthy during practice had no effect on the players, according to defensive end Demarcus Lawrence. He expressed confidence in the solid foundation built by coach Mike, allowing the team to maintain momentum without stress or struggle. The players successfully adapted, ensuring punctuality and focus. Recognizing the significance of the upcoming weekend, Marked by a major rivalry game against the Eagles, the team is fully engaged and prepared to enjoy the challenge. At the helm of the Cowboys since 2020, 60-year-old Mike McCarthy guided the team through a 6-10 season in 2020, orchestrating a remarkable turnaround with 12-5 records in both 2021 and 2022. As of now, the team stands at 9-3, trailing the Eagles by just one game in the race for the NFC East lead. Dallas Cowboys projected to land 21-year-old electric QB. 
Pro Football Focus is pinning the Dallas Cowboys' hopes on a notable prospect in the upcoming NFL draft, Shatter Sanders, the quarterback from Colorado. This selection holds significant implications for the Cowboys as they navigate their path toward the future. While the Dallas Cowboys have areas that need improvement, they boast star players in key positions and possess one of the league's premier left tackles, potentially smoothing the NFL transition for Jones. Pro Football Focus predicts the Cowboys selecting Sanders in the second round of the draft. The level of aggression the Cowboys exhibit during draft weekend hinges on their approach to the quarterback position in free agency, according to analyst Trevor Sakima. The potential hurdle in acquiring Shatter Sanders for the Dallas Cowboys could lie within Sanders himself. As highlighted by Sakima, Sanders, a junior with remaining eligibility, posted impressive stats, throwing for 3,230 yards and 27 touchdowns with just three interceptions. However, the Colorado Buffaloes, led by Sanders, faced a challenging season, accumulating seven losses in their final eight games following a promising 3-2 start. This downturn in performance has shifted Sanders' projection to the second round in many mock drafts, aligning with PFF's forecast for his draft landing spot. Deion Sanders, former NFL star and current coach at Colorado, revealed to Bleacher Report earlier this year that Shatter Sanders is not willing to settle for a secondary position. Although not specifically addressing the draft round, Sanders emphasized in September that Shatter is determined not to be in the shadow of anyone. Sanders asserted, Shatter doesn't want to play second fiddle to anyone. People may predict him behind Caleb Williams, who is undoubtedly phenomenal, but Shatter refuses to take a back seat, as noted by Sakima. Sanders presents an intriguing scenario due to Colorado's disappointing season and his continued eligibility. The most plausible route for him seems to involve staying an additional year in Colorado under the guidance of his father, who serves as the head coach. This strategic move aims to position him as one of the standout quarterbacks in the 2025 draft class. Despite the current circumstances, Sanders remains eligible and has showcased notable performances throughout this season, demonstrating composure under pressure, evidenced by 209 successful passes under pressure, the second highest in the FBS. His ability to deliver accurate passes with finesse and precise timing adds to the anticipation surrounding his future in the sport. Regarding Shatter Sanders' transition to the Dallas Cowboys, it's unlikely that he would immediately assume control of the offensive strategy. The probable scenario involves the Cowboys securing a veteran player and allowing Sanders the necessary time to adjust to the NFL. However, looking ahead to 2025, if Sanders remains in contention for this year's draft, he is anticipated to be prepared to assume a leadership role. His impressive performance at the beginning of this season has certainly caught the attention of chief standout Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey expressed on his New Heights podcast, Deion Sanders' both kids bring an electric energy. One of them chose number six, and the other delivered an outstanding performance. I believe one is among this year's Heisman finalists, showcasing complete dominance in the college football realm. What's your take on the Shatter Sanders situation, fans? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments.